Um, so my, again, my name is Mateo Reyes. Um, I was on this Kimi Kai trip. Um, Help with the video. Uh, we had about uh, three cameras, uh, video cameras, two or three still cameras, professional still cameras. Um, and we, had, we totaled about 100 hours of, of, uh, of uh, footage. So, you know, at this interview, sightseeing, um, you know, you, what was difficult uh, for me, I think, um, you know, as a Filipino American, I didn't know Japanese, I didn't know Spanish. Um, you know, maybe I should have said, took, you know, Spanish too in high school, but they didn't really stick. But, um, so, you know, I had some broken Spanish. Um, so, while I was filming, I would listen to these interviews, and sometimes they would translate, sometimes they wouldn't. Um, so when we were actually going back and looking at the footage, and people were kind of telling me what they were talking about, like, oh, that's what they said? Wow, that's, that's amazing. You know, that's, I wish I knew at the time, ask more questions. But so hopefully if, if I go back, I'll, I'll take some Spanish classes and maybe do some Japanese classes so I can uh, know how to you know, communicate to people. Um, I think in the process of, of making the film, again, it was multi-generational, but also multicultural. It wasn't just Japanese, it wasn't just um, you know, Spanish speakers. It was a collaboration of all these different types of people, young, old, um, alike. And, and that was really kind of the essence of what Cuba was about, was that, you know, the Cubans, they were Cuban first, but they were also Japanese, they're also Spanish, they're also from Africa, they also had spoke a, a lot of different languages, but that was also kind of secondary because they, they had this strong sense of, of national pride. Um, and so I think our group kind of felt that and kind of carried through uh, through the video process. Which is very, very enjoyable. Um, another part of the, the uh, trip that I was a part of was the uh, cultural exchange portion of it. Um, again, not speaking the languages, that was kind of my, one of the only ways that I could communicate. Uh, you know, we, we learned Okinawan dances, we did the she saw. I was the, um, primarily the head along with Wesley, which was a lot of fun. Um, you know, difficult and tiring, cause, especially because it's so hot over there, you know. It's very, very hairy, shaggy lion. So at the end of the day, we're kind of breathing hard. You know, we're, we're sleeping, you know, the lion's sleeping, but we're actually huffing and puffing there, you know. <laughs> okay, you know, do we go up now? I don't know, I can't tell, you know. But it was a lot of fun. Um, part, of the, part of the performances was uh, um, a martial arts component in one of the songs where I performed. And that really kind of um, uh, drew in a lot of young people, a lot of, you know, four or five-year-old, six-year-old, six, seven-year-old, um, particularly boys, and, and somehow I had to kind of communicate to them when they imitated to me, you know, don't hit your family and your friends, you know, so in my broken English and with, with, with the help of other people, they kind of got that message and like, okay, you know, so they stopped punching me after a while, so I was, <laughs> I was thankful for that. Um, but again, uh, the last thing I'll say is, is that, um, you know, the, the spirit of Kibo uh, really resonated with this group, and we hope that the video kind of um, uh, conveys that message and, you know, um, um, gives them, you know, gives them a human face because, you know, Cubans, you know, although we don't hear much about them in the U.S., you know, they're just like all of us here. Thank you.